So if you've worked with Modbus often enough, the most common exception code that you would encounter is code 2, or exception code 2, which means illegal data address. You get this when you try to access a Modbus memory location that just doesn't exist in the device at all. So it's a pretty straightforward error to interpret, troubleshoot, and fix. A much, much rarer Modbus exception code, however, is exception code 3, which is illegal data value. You could probably do dozens of Modbus installations and not ever encounter this, right? I've just encountered it just a few times over the years. It's a sort of a cryptic type error code. Now recently, a course participant got this error code when attempting to read data from a Modbus device. So in the rest of this video, I want to quickly share with you the circumstances under which this error occurred, the root cause, and the eventual solution. So here we go. The device itself was an annunciator panel with 24 lights on it. It had a Modbus RS-485 port, um, so it could act as a Modbus slave device. So a Modbus master could read the statuses of the lights here. The statuses were stored as Modbus input statuses, right? Each light on or off, right? And of course, Modbus input statuses are bits, one or zero. Good. Now, he actually tried several attempts. Like, so for instance, he first tried this start address, one number of addresses, three in terms of mo reading Modbus status inputs. This actually returned our error code 3, illegal data value. Then he tried a whole bunch of other things like 1 and 5, 2 and 6 and all these different combinations and it kept giving back this error code. Now, it was an error code 2 because the addresses were valid addresses. In fact, this call here um, for most Modbus devices, if you say in the uh, Modbus status input area, start from 1, start address is 1, and number of addresses is 3, it's going to give you um, uh, 3 uh, statuses coming back. In fact, what it'll give you is this, right? It'll send a byte. Now, Modbus doesn't send bits, um, uh, like 4 or 5 bits. It sends bytes at a time. So the first three bits would represent on or off of the first three statuses, like on, off, on, and the other five would just not be used. They might all be zero or ones. Who cares, right? It doesn't. The main thing is that the Modbus master would know to ignore them. Kind of an inefficient use in the communication, but say what? So these were not used at all. So after trying many combinations, uh, what I asked him to do is to try this start address one number of addresses eight and this worked perfectly now why did it work perfectly what this vendor had done is put a constraint on the modbus request for this device the constraint was so, so that each byte that was returned was completely utilized in terms of all of the bits. So you could only request multiples of eight. Is either you request eight input statuses, six, um, uh, 16 input statuses, or 24 input statuses. You couldn't request seven or 12 or 13 or anything like that. They constrained it so that it would only accept number of addresses as multiples of eight to, I guess, force the Modbus master to use the data traffic most efficiently, to use every byte to the max as returned. However, of course, the vendor neglected to put this in the documentation. It would have been nice, and we had to just sort of, it's only because of experience I was able to figure that out um, and ask him to do that. So, um, it's the reason that the illegal data value came up is because the value of number of addresses was the illegal data value. Like this 3 here, that's illegal. It doesn't request that. The 8, however, was fine. 8, 16, or 24. Okay? So um, this happens. This will happen. You'll see cases like this. I've also seen the illegal data value pop up if there's a constraint on a device that it only you could only request a certain max number of addresses at a time I, would, I dealt with a device where you could only request a maximum number of addresses of 30 modbus addresses at a time right if you exceed that illegal data value okay so um i just wanted to share this with you so that if you come across it you'll have an idea of what's happening and how to fix it 
All right.